loving in Christ. You know, I still have memories. My, my grandfather passed away uh, a few years back, but I still have memories of um, going by his uh, farmhouse and watching in the late afternoons, watching wrestling with him on television. And I remember how enthusiastic he was and he uh, really believed that everything that they were doing was happening right there on the spot. Uh, that and when someone would come to him and say, well, you know, that's all fixed. That's all predetermined who's going to win. And every move have been uh, predetermined already. They have actually um, done some uh, um, um, uh, choreographing of what was going to take place. And he wouldn't believe that. He just thought it was real. But, but as time passed, he kind of uh, put it together as he got older. Uh, I say older, you know, he died at, I believe, 99 years old. And he began to see that a lot of it was already uh, predetermined uh, who was going to win because he began to watch it in with a more uh, pragmatic eye because so many were saying to him, even my own dad was saying to him that it was fake and I assume his children were saying the same thing. But beloved, I say that to say this, that uh, the powers of Satan has been conquered. In other words, the fight has been fixed. Glory be to God. And the fight is fixed in our behalf. Amen? Because the end of the story has already been written. Satan is defeated. He is conquered. And God has conquered him. And that's why, beloved, we are called more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Because we are beyond conquering. We have already conquered through Christ Jesus. Now, you and I, the Word of God tells us uh, to fight the good fight of faith. But at the same time, he says when the enemy comes to us or toward us, to tempt us, the Word of God tells us to do what? Stand firm and what? The enemy will flee. Why will he flee? Because we are more than conquerors. Amen? He knows that he has been conquered through the cross. But what Satan depends on is this, the fact that you and I don't know it or don't know how to live it. That's what he depends on. He depends on our ignorance in order to overcome us. The Word of God says in Colossians, the second chapter, 15 verse, and having spoiled the principalities, look here, having spoiled the principalities and powers. In other words, they were disarmed and defeated openly. And he made, look here, brothers and sisters in Christ, and he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Beloved, Jesus defeated Satan openly. Satan has been disarmed. He no longer have power and authority over you and I. Only thing Satan has now is the ability to deceive you. But he doesn't have the power to make you do anything at all. We as believers, because we know the Lord, because we desire to walk with the Lord, amen, and to be under his authority, from that alone, we begin to reject what Satan comes at us with. We are able now to determine and decipher which that is of Satan and which that is 
of God because Jesus openly defeated him. He didn't do it in a privacy that no one knew about it. He didn't do it in darkness that no one would be able to acknowledge this. Beloved, he defeated Satan openly, beloved. The fight has already been fixed. And you and I are the ones who are uh, benefit, benefactors of that defeat. Amen? Beloved, we just have to stand now against Satan. We just have to be firm against his temptations. Beloved, Satan has no power, no authority over us any longer. And so, beloved, we have to realize that, that this was Satan's greatest defeat. The, and it's the power over death and the grave. It was in Satan's hand. But, beloved, it is no longer for you and I because he has been cast down from that authority. You know, the time that the, the, when Satan was in heaven, according to the word of God, and he and a third of the angels uh, fought against the kingdom of God. And Michael the archangel came against Satan and cast him down into this earth. He was defeated then. Amen? But his greatest defeat was when the power of the grave and death was taken away from God's children. Beloved, that is the greatest of his defeat. But he tries to convince you and I to still walk in fear. But beloved, remember, the power of Satan has been conquered. But you and I can walk in faith and in the authority that God gave us. Because the fight, the battle, the struggle is not ours, but it is the Lord's. And beloved, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who strengthened us. The fight has been fixed and we are the benefactors of it. Beloved, be blessed this day in Jesus' name.